There are people who are saying Draymond Green might be leaving Golden State, right? Draymond Green is, this is his way of getting out. He's going to punch someone in the face. And he's so smart. This is such a smart move. He's going to punch someone in the face, and the Warriors are going to be forced to trade him. Okay. Let's pretend for a minute that Draymond Green is that stupid. That he is stupid enough to think that punching someone in the face will lead him to be traded to a better situation and a situation he wants to go to. Let's pretend that that's the case. What kind of empty-headed, dumb mother trucker believes that they can be traded for punching a teammate in the face at practice? And I'm not saying Draymond does. I only said that I, I, what I said was, um, let's pretend he's that stupid because I don't think Draymond Green is that stupid. I think Draymond Green, I think that was like a moment type of thing. It was a, it was a heat of the moment potentially type of thing. But anyone out there who's saying that Draymond Green, this was his way of getting traded. No, Draymond Green wants to get traded. He's got so many ways to express his frustration. So many outlets for that. He's got a podcast that he does, a great podcast that he does, by the way. Draymond Green does. He's got, he's got the keys to the king. He, he's one of, he's one of the, he is one of their big three. Draymond Green wants to go into Steve Kerr's office. He doesn't have to knock. Draymond Green wants to go to the owner's office. He doesn't have to knock. If Draymond Green wanted to be traded, we, uh, we would have heard something about it by now. So for all these people who think that Draymond Green is out here playing three-dimensional chess, he's out here moving the chess pieces saying that by punching Jordan Poole, the Warriors will be forced to cut me or forced to release me or forced to trade me. And then I will have my pick of which team I go to. And then I shall be traded to a situation that I want. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. It really sounds really stupid when you think about it, right? When, when I'm really talking this out and explaining this thought process, it's really stupid, right? Yet you have all these people on Twitter. You have all these 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 pundits on YouTube, like, as such as I am. These pundits on YouTube saying that that Draymond Green, this is genius. This is just his way of saying he wants to get out. Absolutely stupid, asinine, asinine conclusion to draw from this. What this was, in my opinion, two teammates who were two teammates getting into it. Things got really heated. Did Draymond Green overreact? Absolutely. You you should not have punched Jordan Poole. Especially not like that. That was a, I'm trying to knock you the F out type of punch. That wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't no like, you know, like, oh, we're scrapping here. And oh, okay, whatever. Like, it wasn't that type of fight. This was, that was an aggressive punch by Draymond Green. No, make no bones about it. And Draymond Green is, he's even said this before, you know, he's, he's an emotional guy. And th- there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of in those moments, you got to be able to handle yourself, handle your emotions. There's got to be some way for like the best case scenario for the Warriors here is there's got to be some way where you get Jordan Poole on, uh, to the table, you get Draymond Green to the table and they have to work this out. Hey everyone, we hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, keep it real.